This is pretty much my dream come true. PlayStation just announced that Sucker Punch's new game is what it's like to be a samurai in open world feudal Japan. Wow, what a reveal! This is the game that everyone has been asking for. An open world feudal Japan era samurai game. And it's being developed by Sucker Punch. This, this is great news. And I, I couldn't be more hyped about it, but I'm gonna calm down and explain exactly what this game is and break down everything that we know about Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima is about realizing the fantasy of being a samurai in feudal Japan. It's an open world stealth game that takes place during the Mongol invasions of Japan in 1274 and 1281. Okay, so quickly before I talk about the gameplay, the map, and the setting, I'm gonna talk about the story. The invasions of 1274 and 1281 were major military efforts undertaken by Kublai Khan to conquer the Japanese. Historically, they're considered a precursor to early modern warfare. One of the most notable technological inventions during the war was the use of explosive hand-thrown bombs. The invasion of 1274 was ultimately a failure, primarily due to the defeat in the Battle of Torakai Gata where the Mongolian army was exhausted. They withdrew to their ships, and in the midst of the withdrawal, they met a typhoon. Most of their ships sank, and many soldiers drowned. The year after the failed invasion, in anticipation of an imminent Mongol return, the samurai ordered the construction of forts and a large two-meter-high stone wall, which proved to be wise. As seven years later, in 1281, the Mongols returned with around 142,000 soldiers. Unable to find any suitable landing breaches due to the walls, the fleet stayed afloat for months and depleted their supplies as they searched for an area to land. After months of being exposed to the elements, the fleet was destroyed by a great typhoon. And that's actually where the word kamikaze comes from. It literally means divine wind, and literally two winds or storms that were said to have saved Japan from two Mongol fleets under Kublai Khan. And that's basically the story of the game. I'm assuming it's going to focus initially on the invasion of 1274, but now I'm going to move on to the map and the setting, and afterwards we'll talk about the gameplay. The game is set on the titular island of Tsushima, the Japanese island closest to Korea, and the setting of the failed invasions. Supposedly, the entire island is going to be open world. Tons of places to see, towns to explore. People are supposed to appropriately populate the entire island as well. There's a lot of promises on being able to learn a lot about the world through exploring it, and that there's going to be tons of stuff to see. There's definitely a focus from the developers on bringing life to the game world, and they want to give you the freedom to discover the island in an organic way. So much so that they said there's going to be tons of beautiful and exotic locations that you cannot find with waypoints, but instead with exploration. They talked about the world as if it'll be its own character, which is very encouraging as feudal Japan, medieval Japan is kind of underrepresented in video games, and to see that era with such rich detail that feels like it's brimming with life is exactly what I want out of this game. And speaking of gameplay, we already said this is an open world stealth game. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what they mean by stealth because you are playing as samurai, however, at the end of the trailer it looks like he's kind of in a bit of a ninja getup, which tells me that it's possible there's going to be a skill tree where you can focus on ninja traits or samurai traits, and that it may be a stealth game in the sense that Assassin's Creed or Metal Gear Solid is a stealth game, you know, where you can either execute your missions with stealth or without stealth or a mix of both. But I'm assuming there's going to be a decent focus on ninja shit, because looking at Sucker Punch's previous titles, uh, Sly Cooper has some definite ninja moments, and um, there is a lot of parkour within Infamous, so I don't see Samurai doing a lot of parkour. Judging by the story of the game that's being focused on the Mongol invasions, I would assume that you might be a mix of Samurai and Ninja, like leading ambushes under the guise of night or utilizing your unique exotic environments to lend stealth to your movements. The only bit of gameplay that we see in the trailer is near the end where he throws a firebomb at a Mongolian on a horse and then leaps down from a great height to stab another Mongolian in the chest. So it looks like what we speculated earlier is probably going to be accurate, which is great because I love choices and they actually talked about you're going to have choices in this game that aren't necessarily reflective of choices in previous games they've developed. In any case, it's very cool and very exciting to see various Sony studios like Sucker Punch Naughty Dog or Gorilla expanding from their traditional IPs and creating new IPs, which are all awesome. I'm extremely excited for the unique setting in this title and what is probably going to be a very engaging story supplemented by excellent gameplay 
And if there's any more news on Ghost of Tsushima, you'll find it here, because this is a game I'm going to be following very closely and watching like a hawk. In any case, if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining, subscribe for more videos like this. And until next time, take care.